Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Feed the Beasts Infernal Mod Pack with another Let's Play tutorial video. Last episode, we crafted ourselves a fishing rod. That was because we were making our first foray down into the nether and we we're just kind of hoping we might come across a little bit of lava. That didn't happen, but we were able to complete the main focus of our last episode, which was to gather some gold ore, which gave us some gold nuggets, which we turned into gold ingots. Now, gold armor isn't great for protection, but it is really, really good at fooling piglins, which is the focus of this episode. So for the quest, what are you buying? We've got to go and find ourselves a piglin. Now we could go back down into our nether and find one down there, but this mod pack's actually given us a much safer way of getting them into our world. And that is by using the summoning altar. Now, technically the summoning altar should come after we see the piglin, but there's nothing in the recipe for the summoning altar that we can't get before we actually see our first piglin. Technically, I think if they wanted to force us to see the piglin first, they would have made this an iron ingot rather than a gold ingot. But I'm not questioning them. This is going to be our path going forward. Once we complete that quest, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to open up and it really kind of gets us back into the flow of the pack. But before we get started, now would be a great time to click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I post a new video to my channel. Also, if you're enjoying this content, you want to support, click on the join button down below. Check out all the perks I've got available for my community members. Alternately, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link down below in the description. But enough about that, let's get back to the video. Now, like I said at the beginning, our first step here is to craft ourselves a summoning altar. That's going to require a few things that we haven't previously built, one of which is going to be the spirit torch. Now, the spirit torch is relatively easy to make. It is one charcoal, one stick, and then one demon's fruit. Now, the demon's fruit is something we did way, way back at the beginning of this pack, where we cooked the golden apples on the soul campfire. That gave us the demon's fruit. I'm not going to actually complete this recipe though because we were actually given three of these spirit torches earlier on as a reward. I haven't used them. I might as well use them up here. Save myself one of these demon fruits, you know, for later on. We only need three anyway, so it's the perfect amount for this recipe. The second item that we're going to need for this is going to be a window. Now you could use the crimson version of this. I'm using the warped version because that's the wood that I had handy. But three planks in a crafting table with a piece of glass gets you a window. And then we're going to go place that in our crafting table. That leaves us with four little spots here that we need to fill up with these rose quartz shards. Now there's two ways to get rose quartz shards in our world. We could actually go down into the nether, find ourselves a nether geo. There's a couple of different types down there. Probably a lot of work, probably super, super dangerous. The easier way for us to do this is to explore our, I'm going to call this the overworld the over nether maybe they were the over nether might might be a better way of referring to it because we can find a lot of the resources we need up here uh, for example there's this piece of quartz that's been growing over here very very similar we're going to find a piece of those rose quartz just kind of growing in our world so this could be a little bit of a hike i'm going to go and you know what we're already kind of facing this direction let's go let's go head down here and we'll see what we can find Here we go. This looks to be what I am looking for. Right now I'm in a soul sand valley, but I think these are in their own uh, little areas here. Yeah, here we go. Crystalline chasm. And we need to find ones that are fully formed. Yeah, it says large. Large is not complete. It's actually just got to call it. There we go. Rose quartz cluster. We're going to go use our fortune pickaxe. We only got two out of that. Actually, I think we only... Would have gotten two anyways. Let's go try another one. Here we go. There we go. That's four. That's how much we need for our recipe. Since we're here though, let's grab a couple more of these. There we go. Just to make sure that we got enough. So I'm going to go ahead back and then we're going to complete this recipe. All right. So here we are back at our base. All we're going to do now is take four of those rose quartz shards. In the crafting table with that one gold ingot, three spirit torches, and then the window warped or crimson, that gets us our summoning altar. 
Now, because we're going to summon a piglin, I've set up a little bit of a piglin house here. There's just a little something to kind of keep them from, you know, running amok in my world. Keep me safe if I ever have to take off that armor. I'm going to go place the summoning altar right there. And then to summon a piglin, we got to have a couple of reagents, I guess is probably the proper word for that. One of which is going to be a bone block. Now, we haven't actually created this one before, so I've set it up in the recipe. But nine pieces of bone meal get us a bone block. And then the other items that we're going to need is a gold ingot, a red mushroom, a crimson fungus, and then as a catalyst, some vile dust. Now, I'm going to take these items. We're going to come back over to our summoning altar. I don't believe the order matters, but we're going to go one two, three, four. These are our four reagents. I'm going to take the catalyst, click it on there. And this is going to start summoning the, uh, the piglin. And as soon as it's done, there we go. We got ourselves a piglin. What are you buying? That's perfect. Now he's a little upset, but he's kind of trapped in there. It's not a problem. I'm wearing my gold armor. He's not going to, you know, come attack me or anything. I do want him to kind of fall down into this hut, though. Oh, actually, he did it himself. <laughs> if he didn't do it automatically, I was just going to go take off my armor. That would have, you know, aggroed him. He would have come right at me. Would have got him that way. But let's go put this on again just to kind of keep him happy, you know, in his little world. And before we do anything, let's go open up our quest book. So we've now seen our hoglin. What are you buying? Our reward is two gold. I actually spent some time in between episodes. I did a little bit more mining using my uh, Piglin Prospector with the Fortune 2 on it. So we've got quite a bit of gold here for trading. Now that I've seen the Piglin, we're going to go and pick up our Summoning Altar. There you go. That is that quest complete. That gives us two Hoglin name tags, a Piglin name tag, a Warp Scroll, and an Ink Sack. So the most important thing right now is to take this indentured Piglin name tag we're going to go name our piglin, indentured piglin. You could probably change that if you have an anvil. And then why don't we go take this block. I should be handy if I had another block there just to place on top. Actually, we can do it like this. There you go. He is now completely covered in there. I'll clean this up a little bit later. But we can go take our gold ingots. And let's actually go throw those items up there. And we can start trading with him. Now there's two things that we need right away from him as far as trades goes. One's going to be the hoglin spawn egg. The other one's going to be these little iron round plates. Now the iron round plates can be used for a couple of different items. Specifically, it's going to be used to make ourselves some shears, which is something we're going to need going forward. So we're going to go start throwing him these gold ingots. He's going to start trading with us. What do we get? Oh, perfect. There we go. Oh, he's picked one up in his hand, which is a little annoying, but at the same time, that actually might not be too bad of a thing. Uh, it's going to stop him from picking up uh, pretty much anything else. Now, I'm going to keep trading with him for a bit. Let's see what we get from these last 10 gold ingots. There's the last one. Let's see what he's going to give us for it. All right, so that's not too, too bad. We've got 37 uh, round ingot plates. We got one piece of pig iron. We got the two hoglin spawn eggs that we were looking for, and then the golden carrot. So that's absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we want. So iron round plate as a reward, we get four more iron round plates. I'm going to leave the shears here for a future episode because it's going to make a little bit more sense doing them with that. From here, though, we can start summoning up some more animals. We can get to the bees. The bees are going to be very important going forward. But that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you guys have found it helpful. I'll see you guys next time. Good.